one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. I will not let him die. Now touch it. This will all be over soon.
them! Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Uh, ironic, isn't it? What?
Interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- <sighs> I've made mistakes. I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <sighs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, we've seen me dead. We'll make things right. I won't stop you. I know. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner 
of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you will be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parrot can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following with the Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Lumir, can you start that story again from before? Wasn't it Sewer to the Brave? Of course. We've spoken so much of Frost Giant. It's about time we instead met the most fiery giant of all. Back when Ymir first emerged from Ginungagor, it was Suat who followed next. We came from Muspelheim, the Fire Realm, bringing heat to the young cosmos, conjuring the sun from his primordial flame. So let's come back to that flaming sword, shall we? Suat the Brave forged his sword of flame for one purpose alone. 
to burn down Asgard when Ragnarok comes at last. His destiny is to fall in the hands of Thor and Odin, but in so doing, strike the blow that leaves their realm in ash and ruin. And from that destruction, the world can be born anew. Until then, alone he waits in Muspelheim, never sleeping, ever honing his fiery blade. Brave, generous, who knows he lives but to his doom. All because he chooses to serve a grand cycle so much bigger than himself. To truly embrace your purpose and the patience and sacrifice it demands is to ensure your day will come. Do you think we'll be there when that day comes? I've seen enough of war between the gods, but you, little brother, who can say? Let's get you all bum fuzzled over there. Get going. Something on your mind, boy? And we're dead from a distance. Anything else for you? Now about that other thing. <laughs> 